In this video, I'm gonna show you how to borrow millions of dollars in cryptocurrency with zero money down. So how can you do this? Well, with something called a flash loan. This is a brand new technique that's sweeping the cryptocurrency and DeFi space, and it's creating endless new possibilities for blockchain technology. And flash loans have also caused a lot of drama recently because they've been the source of some recent exploits. So we're gonna talk about all of that and more in this video. We're gonna look at, you know, what are flash loans? Are they bad? And how can you perform one? So as always, this is not financial advice. I'm just some guy on YouTube giving you this information for educational purposes only. All right, so before we get into all that, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory from DAP University. And on this channel, I teach you how to become a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then click the like button down below and click subscribe. And if you wanna become a real world blockchain developer, then head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's get into this. So what is a flash loan? Well, basically it's a way of borrowing cryptocurrency with zero money down, you know, no collateral. But there's one catch. You have to pay back all the money you just borrowed as soon as you borrow it. So in technical terms, this means that you have to pay back all the money uh, that you borrowed in the same transaction. So I know that is probably pretty confusing. So I'm gonna pull up my whiteboard here on my screen and try to explain this better. You know, whenever you are working on the blockchain, you're dealing with transactions, right? So let's put that here. All right, and most people think of transactions like in really simple terms. Like I just wanna send money to you. Like if I send cryptocurrency to you, that's one single transaction and it's a very simple transaction. I can just open my cryptocurrency wallet like MetaMask that I have here, you know, enter in your Ethereum address and send you cryptocurrency just in a single transaction. That's what's happening on the blockchain, right? So transactions can be actually much more complicated than this. You can perform more operations inside of a single transaction than just sending money to one person. You know, for example, it can have multiple steps like step one, you know, operation A, step two, operation B, and then step three, operation C. All right, and all those can happen in one go on the blockchain. That's what a more complex transaction looks like. All right, so let's actually put some flesh on these bones. Um, instead of these abstract you know, concepts, Operation ABC, in the case of a flash loan, it basically looks like uh, you know, step one, borrow money. Step two, you know, do something with the money. And then step three uh, is pay back money. And there's all kinds of stuff that you can do in this second step here whenever you borrow the money, as long as you pay it back in the same transaction, all right? So this is what a complex transaction would look like uh, inside of a flash loan. So let's uh, just get a little clearer picture, right? I'm going to drag this over and show you what it looks like in terms of all the people involved. So basically you have a borrower and then you have a lender and then you have, you know, some sort of operation. Let's say it's an exchange, for example. So the borrower uh, can take money from the lender, all right? And then they can go do something with this, you know, fund, with these funds, they can put it on an exchange and trade it, all right? And then they get the funds back and then they can pay back the lender, right? The money can move around in this triangle as long as it happens all in one transaction. That's how a flash loan works. And the reason you can do this with zero money down with no collateral is that the transaction will fail if the lender doesn't receive all their money back inside the transaction. So for example, if you borrowed, you know, $1,000 from the lender, did something with it on an exchange and then didn't pay the lender back in the transaction, none of this would actually happen. The blockchain wouldn't allow it. So what can you actually do with one of these flash loans if you have to just borrow all this money and pay it back in one go? Well, there are a few different use cases popping up, but the main one I'm gonna focus on right now is arbitrage trading. Basically, it means taking advantage of price differences on cryptocurrency exchanges. So imagine a cryptocurrency sells for $100 on exchange A, and then it sells for $101 on exchange B, all right? There's an arbitrage opportunity here because you can basically buy it on exchange A and sell it on exchange B and make, you know, $1 in profit. So now that may not sound super appealing for you to, you know, take $100 out and then just go sell it somewhere else to make, you know, $1 in profit minus fees. You know, maybe you're talking about a few cents at that point, right? But imagine if you did this at scale. 
What if you took a million dollars worth of cryptocurrency and took advantage of this $1 price difference? Then the profit gets way bigger. And that's where the value of a flash loan comes into play. It allows you to take, you know, much bigger sums, in some cases, millions of dollars, uh, and do these kinds of trades. Basically, anybody can become a cryptocurrency whale without needing any money in the first place. And this is creating just endless possibilities of what you can do uh, with these flash loans as long as you pay the money back in the same transaction. And just like many things in the crypto space, uh, they have the power to be used for exploitation. So that leads us to the next question. You know, are flash loans bad? Well, a lot of people have been asking this question, all right? A lot of drama has been going on on Twitter and all over the place, people in the crypto space, um, kind of debating on the ethics of flash loans, all right? So one recent event people have been talking about is an instance where a hacker made $360,000 uh, in Ether, in Ethereum cryptocurrency, in a single flash loan. And he did this by taking advantage of, you know, different DeFi protocols and cryptocurrency exchanges out there that are powered by the blockchain. Um, and you can see, you know, all the operations that happened whenever the hacker did this. So you can see he transferred, you know, 10,000 Ether here, 5,000 Ether here. Uh, and, you know, if you follow the logic here and you can just track all the steps in this transaction that resulted in this $360,000 profit, right? So he basically took out a loan of 10,000 Ether, uh, which was about $3 million at the time and turned this profit. And you can see all the operations inside the transaction here that allowed him to do it. So that's that shows you how it works by doing all these things uh, inside the same blockchain transaction. And there's so much drama about this. Like, should this be permissible? Should people be allowed to do this? I mean, you can even see in the comment section here, um, one of the first you know, upvoted comments is like, stop calling the person a hacker because the code uh, allows them to do this. It's fair game. And that's one argument in favor of flash loans is that people design these protocols um, with this capability and other people doing them is, you know, fair game. And another perspective is offered here in an article published by uh, Ave. And this is actually a platform that allows you to do flash loans. I'm going to show you that here in a minute. But this article talks about uh, how lots of other people are capable of performing these same kinds of exploits uh, without having to take out flash loans. So they say, uh, you know, if we take a step back here, there are currently 7,000 accounts holding enough money in Ethereum cryptocurrency that would have been capable of doing the same kinds of attacks without the flash loans. So basically, if someone wanted to perform this kind of crazy huge multi-million dollar arbitrage trade. Um, there are lots of other crypto whales out there that already have enough money to do this kind of stuff, right? Just having a flash loan uh, that allows more people to do it doesn't necessarily mean that uh, that makes the flash loan bad. And they say, you know, flash loans do not create new threats. They only expand on the number of people capable uh, of harmful actions. So those are some of the different perspectives on flash loans, you know, whether they're good or bad, whether they should exist or not in the first place. And that's kind of the source of the drama that's been going on recently. So what do you think? Are flash loans good? Are they bad? Leave a comment down in the comment section below. So how can you take out a flash loan? All right. So before I tell you all this, you know, as always, this is not financial or legal advice. This is for educational purposes only, but I'm going to show you how to do it two ways. All right. So let's start with Ave's platform. That's who, you know, put out this blog post, which I just kind of share their perspective on. Um, so Ave is a decentralized finance protocol or DeFi that allows you to do borrowing, uh, lending, all that kind of stuff, right? So you can just access their platform, um, it connects your browser wallet, and you can take out a flash loan like with their protocol through their user interface. Now, I wasn't able to do it um, with my account right now, so maybe this is a feature that they're rolling out in the future. If y'all know more about that, I'll leave a comment down in the comment section below. Maybe if someone from Ave is watching this video, be happy to talk more about that. Uh, you can link to instructions on how to perform one. So that's the way to do it. Uh, you know, if you're not a developer and you're just a cryptocurrency user, but if you are a developer, you can also look on Ave's developer platform. So they have some documentation, which I'll link to down in the description below. And they have an existing set of smart contracts that you can use as a developer to perform these kinds of arbitrage opportunities and create flash loans, okay? So you can see they support lots of cryptocurrencies like uh, Ether, DAI, uh, USDC, Tether, uh, Basic Attention Token. It seems like most of the tokens that they uh, support on their protocol you can also do flash loans with here, okay? So, you know, they have the ABI for the smart contracts for these tokens and also the token address, okay? So the Ave version of them at least, right? So then they have uh, these lending smart contracts that you can import into your project. 
Uh, you can see it here, it's a lending pool provider. This is a contract already deployed to the network that you can just connect to. Um, and then, you know, you just supply the cryptocurrency like DAI, for example, right? You give the address, you give the amount, um, and you tap into this lending pool and you do things like deposits, perform the loan, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So you scroll down all the way to the bottom, they actually show you a tutorial on how you can implement a flash loan into your project. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy this actually and open it in my text editor so it's a little more readable. All right, so here's what Ave's uh, tutorial example looks like in a text editor. So basically um, there's a, a pre-existing set of uh, libraries that you import, you can see those here. Uh, here's the Open Zeppelin SafeMath library. Um, they have a mintable token, which is an ERC-20 token interface. And then here's um, their specific smart contracts. They have a flash loan receiver, right? This is a smart contract that you can inherit from inside your example. Uh, a lending pool, all right? This is where the funds come from to take out the flash loan. And then uh, the network metadata provider, which is also used at the bottom, okay? So uh, basically, this is a pretty simple example. Um, you just provide a constructor function. This is the function that's run inside Solidity whenever you deploy your smart contract to the network, all right? And you just inherit uh, from the flash on the receiver and you pass in the provider, okay? So the next thing that you do is have this uh, execute operation function, just one function that does the entire uh, loan, all right? So basically, you specify the reserve, the amount, the fee, and the parameters. All right, that's how you take out the loan. And then here's how you pay back the loan. All right, you transfer funds back into the pool. So you borrow and then you transfer back. And in the middle, you can write whatever code that you want to inside of here. All right, the possibilities are endless. Here's a big question mark where you fill in the blank. You can, you know, execute a trade on a decentralized exchange with all this money that you borrowed. All right, so the possibilities are endless and this is incredibly powerful. All right, so that's an overview of what flash loans are, all right, and how you can perform one. So as always, this is not financial advice, not legal advice, just for educational purposes only. So I hope you liked the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel, click the like button down below. And if you wanna take that next step to mastering blockchain, to becoming a real world blockchain developer, then head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.